12 News at 10 starts right now. A jury is in place and in less than 24 hours, Lori Vello Daybell will finally get her day in court on murder charges more than three years after her children first disappeared. The mom accused of killing her son and daughter who once lived here in the valley. That is where we start this Sunday night here on 12 News at 10 o'clock. Welcome in. I'm Jonathan McCall. I'm Rachel Cole. It's a disturbing case that's garnered a lot of local and national attention and our Erica Stapleton has been following the development development since the very beginning. She's actually in Boise, Idaho tonight and will be in the courtroom tomorrow as the new phase of this trial begins. Erica, what can we anticipate? We're just hours away from opening statements in the Lori Vallow Daybell murder trial. It's a case that prosecutors and investigators have been working on for more than three years and we're expecting the jury will hear a lot of evidence. Every twist and turn. Tell us where the kids are. All leading up to this moment, Lori Vallow Daybell standing trial for murder. She's accused of killing her own children, Tylee and JJ after moving them from Arizona to Idaho in September 2019. Months later, in June 2020, the kids' bodies were found buried in Lori's husband, Chad Daybell's, backyard. This has been a very uh, trying thing for, for everybody involved. He's facing similar charges, including murder, but will be tried separately. The couple is also facing charges in the murder of Chad's first wife, Tammy. Uh, it's an advantage to the defense. It's a disadvantage to the lawyers uh, who will be tired out, I'm sure, by the second trial. Uh, and it's a disadvantage to the taxpayers, of course. David Leroy, Idaho's former attorney general and a longtime criminal defense attorney, isn't involved in the case, but he's definitely been following it. Based on court records, we're expecting prosecutors to lay out evidence that shows Lori conspired with Chad and her brother Alex Cox to kill her children, based on dark religious beliefs taught by Chad. Lori's brother Alex died at his home in Gilbert before charges were filed in this case. Uh, any way that the defense can poke holes in their evidence, their theory of the case, uh, they will try to do so. The defense can present their opening statements right after the state, or they can wait until it's time to present their own case. It's harder to anticipate exactly what their arguments will be, but we do know Lori's attorney filed a notice of alibi, claiming she was with friends and Chad while her kids died in her late brother Alex's apartment. He's a significant figure. Lori's case was delayed twice after she was deemed incompetent for trial. But a judge ruled that competency has since been restored. Mental health will likely be discussed in evidence. But Idaho doesn't allow an insanity defense. We'll likely have to wait a while to see whether or not Lori Vallow Daybell will take the stand and testify in her own trial. Her attorney entered not guilty pleas for all the charges she's facing, and she hasn't publicly said anything about this case. This portion of the trial, where evidence is presented, is expected to take six to eight weeks. We're in Boise. Erica Stapleton, 12 News. Erica, thanks so much. New